I already am. I plan on to. I plan to. I said for two and a half years I've been charged with sexual assault. And that accusation is the worst or one of the worst that anybody could have. And I've been living that for two and a half years. And it's over. I've been found not guilty of that. <laughs> Today, Mr. Uh, Brazo pleaded guilty to simple assault and simple possession of cocaine. Uh, and uh, we uh, suggested to the, to the uh, judge a, an unconditional discharge uh, to impose to Mr. Brazo. And the judge take, uh, took this uh, advice uh, and he will uh, render his sentence on October 28th. I just ask you, what are the, what are the things that changed? Why did you move to this plea today? Like well, you, you, you will have to, to ask Mr. Brazo why he, uh, he decided to plead guilty today. Uh, one thing that I can tell you is uh, that uh, we were at the point that we were supposed to uh, view the, uh, the uh, police, uh, yeah, the interview, a police interview uh, with Mr. Razo after the fact that uh, happened in uh, 2012. And also he will have, uh, he was supposed to take the, the, the bar, testify, and was supposed to be cross-examined. So uh, all this will not happen. Why did you recommend unconditional discharge here in this particular case? The recommendation de, de in English. In English. <laughs> uh, the un unconditional uh, discharge uh, goes to the fact that uh, Mr. Brazo, uh, at uh, two occasions, two separate occasions, uh, went to jail for at least one day each time. And also he didn't, he didn't have any previous convictions. And uh, the fact also that all the uh, media uh, thing around him uh, was he uh, was to be uh, took into account 